Welcome everyone, Bretboy90. I want to talk about Destiny, and you're going to see I'm giving you footage of online gameplay because I know and you know you can go anywhere to watch story mode stuff. It looks pretty, and I guess that's not what I'm really here for, but uh, you can play that. The story mode's great. It's great to play with friends. It's a lot of fun, and the game is about fun. The game's not about... Uh, the game's not about trying to create this superficial... I don't know, like, whenever I play Modern Warfare or, or even Battlefield, which I love, it feels forced, you know? It, it feels forced and, 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 and fake, but Destiny feels so... it's so different. You have your own character, you level up your guy, you get your own powers, you pick your gun, you modify your class, you pick the way you want to play the game, and it's just... It's, there's nothing like it out there right now, and nothing can compete with it currently. So I want to say, people, here's the main question I want to ask you all. Is Destiny fun? Yes. It's a 10 out of 10 on the fun scale. Is Destiny a long story? Is the story amazing? Um, no. The sto if we're strictly going by the story itself, like the, the current story we've been given up until Mars, it's it's not it's nothing special. It's, I mean, it's not as bad as EA stories where you feel so detached from the game that it doesn't even make sense. Um, it's not as bad as EA story, but it's not it's not really much better. The story just I, I like the idea behind the story, and if you truly like the idea of the story, the, the, the game's gonna grasp you and grab a hold of you. Like you know, you we're the guardians and we have to save humanity, and it's our job to you know do do what we can but if you're not a person that can get into that you're not gonna think the game's fun or you're not gonna like the game modes you know the, okay. here's the thing your your character crosses between your story and your in-game gameplay like this where i'm playing competitively pvp and since they cross over you might want to tweak things when you go pvp in comparison to how you play the game for fun when you play in the story just because you want to have fun when you're playing the story and you want to be competitive when you're playing here now you'll see i use auto rifles because the auto rifles really are one of the better things to use right now um i want to talk about the weapons now and i'm moving you on to exodus blue this is actually a 3v3 the last one was a control 6v6 this is now a 3v3 team deathmatch, essentially. You'll see in this, we get to revive each other, and you want to play as a tight squad, and it's a ton of fun. It, it, all, all the online game modes are a ton of fun. I, I, you'll, always, you'll always have that, that, you get that real deep anger, like, oh, I want to get that guy. And uh, I can't, I, like, in Battlefield, you just sometimes, you know, like, someone's in the tank, so you can't. You can't deal with that, really. There's not a good way to deal with a tank if you're just a guy other than getting an RPG out, but still, you can be on that. Everyone here, I feel at all times, even bad players will get me because there's so much going on. There's so much to deal with in this online, but I want to talk about the guns, so let's get to the guns. Auto rifles, they all range in how their damage works uh, because there's impact, there's range, accuracy, stability, damage it, it goes on and you get to see these stats and these stats the you know how much ammo goes in the magazine even matters i care about that so i'll say that an auto rifle is the best all-around gun you could ever pick long range mid-range close range Heavy it's the available. best thing you could have at any moment at your disposal headshots you'll see show up yellow for any weapon and cause excess damage if you shoot chest you're not going to be causing much damage you hit the head it's a lot more damage so that's where auto rifles are now i come across to shotguns and they annoy the crap out of me because we're wearing armor we have a shield why is a shotgun a one-hit kill it should never be a one-hit kill and i'm always going to feel about this with shotguns in this kind of game because of shields and armor so I, I don't get where the one hit kill is always every time I get close to someone they shotgun me and I'm, I'm just instantly dead. I can't even punch them to hurt them a little until their second shotgun. So I'd like to see them make it a two shot requirement unless they shoot you in the face. Now there's fusion rifles. Fusion rifles, you hear them power up. You hear them and then it fires. So you know what's about to come to you so you have a chance to get out of the way. Fusion rifles are a one hit kill for close range and... I think they could use a little bit more mid to long range power. It's a little lacking. This is that was the fusion rifle. It seems to be a little lacking in the mid range fights because 
I, I feel like it just needs more power. It, it takes time to charge up, and people get to hear it coming. They know about your presence. And now we have sniper rifles, and sniper rifles are a one-hit kill headshot, or two to the chest generally. Uh, it's my sniper rifle now at level 24 now, and that legitimately hits someone, and they have a sliver of health left. So if anyone puts Heavy one bullet in them, inbound. they're dead. So I usually switch to my auto rifle if I didn't get the headshot, finish them off. We've got heavy machine guns, which range and rate of fire and everything. It's a heavy, so in online, it, it's... It's Your overpowered seeming, but it's fair to me. The RPGs guns. need to be reduced range. It needs to require more accuracy because it is a one-hit kill and you can kill multiple people. But the game's great. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Funnest game I've played in the longest amount of time. Definitely go get a copy. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.